we're going to talk today about Peniter pens. These three Peniter pens are new. These are called the Twin Tank Touchdown Avatar URs. Avatar UR Twin Tank Touchdown Peniter. Peniter Avatar UR Twin Tank Touchdown Fountain Pen. The TTT is what we're going to call it. Twin Tank Touchdown. These are new, new filling mechanism for Peniter, and it's a vacuum filler. We've got a clear one to talk about. We've got a smoke one, uh, graphene black is what we're calling that one. And then we've got a blue one. This one is Neptune blue. So Neptune blue, graphene black, and clear. New pens from Peniter. So right off the bat, you'll see that they have this kind of trademark feather slash quill clip that is spring-loaded, very easy to use, very easy to put in the pocket, one-handed, boom, boom. And it uh, doesn't have any sort of notch at the bottom to get caught on any sort of clothing items, which I think is pretty neat. And then they also have the Peniter trim ring that uh, we're familiar with. We've seen this trim ring done in a couple of different styles. This one, so far my favorite. It has a really, really smooth texture. This doesn't look laser etched like some of them have been in the past. The laser etching ones don't feel quite as pleasant as this. This one seems more of a uh, an imprint. I don't know what it is, but it feels nice and it looks nice. It is, I believe, Florence imprinted, like the Florence uh, skyline. So right now I'm gonna take a look at the clear version for the most part because it's clear. And I wanna be clear with you today. Magnetic cap. That's fun, and it's a pretty solid cap too. This is not one of those caps that, uh, it's not one of those magnetic caps that needs to kind of find its uh, magnetic friend on the other end of things. Like, it goes on instantly in any, in any direction. Yeah, that's solid, I really like that. All right, metal grip section, it's a little slick. I'll be honest there, it is a little slick there, but uh, it doesn't bother, metal sections don't really bother me. If slick grip sections bother you, this is a slick grip section. But for me, it's not a problem. The nib is a really lovely nib. Um, this is a number six steel nib. It has Peniter written on both sides of the nib's shoulders, kind of uh, tapering down toward the tip. It's not easily recognizable all the time. I think a lot of people don't even notice that it says Peniter really big down the sides of the nib twice. But it's one of my favorite things about this nib. But the big question mark exclamation point of this pen is here. And internally, this is a vacuum filling pen. Peniter's first. So what you'll see right off the bat is two very prominent lock logos here. Um, and then a circle down here on the barrel. You might be able to see it more easily on the black one. You see there's the circle and then the lock logo here. Obviously, it is currently locked. So let's unlock it and see what happens. Whoop, what happened there? There we go. This is how we're working with the vac filler. The immediate thing that I see differently about this vacuum filling fountain pen as compared to another vac filler like the Pilot 823 or the Twisby Vac 700, is that the knob that you use to activate the vacuum filler is not threaded onto the barrel. It has these interesting notches. It's like a, a hook assembly. I believe Peniter calls this the uh, a bayonet closure. So you've got metal posts inside of the knob here. And then you've got these interesting L-shaped channels here at the top of the pen itself. And when you press it down and twist, it engages. You don't have to align that circle with these lock logos. It can serve as a guide, but you know, it these notches exist around, you know, the entire knob and around this you know, piston assembly here. So you just kind of feel it and twist. You'll be able to kind of feel when it's in there. So, but if you need the guide, it's there for you, I suppose. So if you don't know how vacuum fills work, you are creating pressure at this point. See how it's bouncing? You're creating pressure. 
and then the internal uh, diameter of the pen flares out right here at the end so the pressure then dissipates and then forces right there ink up into the pen and we'll show that in a second and then when you want to seal the pen what happens is that this act of locking takes the uh, let me go back to the clear one <clears throat> takes the rubber gasket from here where ink is flowing freely from the reservoir into the nib into a closed position where the gasket now shuts off that flow so you can still write and you can still write a lot but you're only writing with what's already in the feed and what's in the second tank, twin tank touchdown, right? So this is the touchdown filler. That's their word for vac filler. And then the twin tank is, you've got your main reservoir here, and then you've got a second reservoir right here. Everywhere from in front of this blue gasket onward is that second tank. So at any time, this is what you're writing with. You can write with it as it is now, or you can open it up and write with the whole thing. And then if you'd like to pretty much empty everything out, you can invert it, let all that's in the first channel flow down into the main channel and then lock it. And then you have pretty much nothing in here. So if you are in an environment with rapid pressure changes, uh, this might benefit you because pressure can make liquid do funny things. So that's an added benefit as well, as same with any vac filler usually, uh, always. And then the grip section comes off. So right there, as you can see, it's a unique part about this pen. You have that O-ring there in this clear area, which uh, that O-ring is what this uh, blue gasket actually attaches itself to, to seal the pen. You'll see that when I screw this back on, that is where it makes contact. So that's serving a purpose for sure. One interesting thing about this pen and uh, something that I was curious when I got my hands on it is that vacuum filling pens can be sometimes difficult to clean. With Twisby, they have a wrench so you can remove this part. Uh, with Pilot, they say don't remove that part. Uh, it's not, um, there's nothing super obvious about how to get this off, but I actually, ow, no. Um, if you get, ah, here we go. Ah. If you get a grip like what we sell, or just have, I don't know, I could probably use my shirt if I wanted to. It's just metal, so it's kind of sharp, so it doesn't feel great on your fingers. If you're a guitarist, you're probably fine. But for me, grabbing one of these things, wrapping it around, and then giving it a twist, it's a lot easier. And then once that's unscrewed, you see that it's got a little O-ring there and you can have access to either blast some water from a syringe down through the back end of the main channel or get, um, you know, maybe a cotton swab in there. I don't know. You can't take this thing all the way out though because this blue gasket doesn't quite clear the opening. So, I mean, that's fine. You don't really, you can still get up in there if you need to. So it definitely is easier to clean. And there's no glue here, it's just threaded. That's something that Panida prides itself on is the um, very minimal, if not zero use of glue in their pens. And then when you're done, you can just screw that back on. That O-ring keeps it nice and sealed. I'll probably take the take this and give it a little bit of a twist. I don't wanna overdo it because I don't wanna crack anything, but there you go. So relatively easy to clean. Um, this is just friction fit in there, so this can come out. Uh, the feed and the nib can just be uh, pulled for cleaning as well. That's always something that I value is user serviceability. So that is pretty much it as far as, does it post? Yes, it posts, there we go. Um, it's actually pretty light though, let me do say that. There's some metal in the back, which you know gives you some nice balanced weight. Um, but overall, it is a pretty lightweight pen given the circumstances. Now, it does have a big ink capacity, so filling this with ink is gonna totally change its weight. But uh, overall, not a cumbersome pen at all. Pretty lean uh, in terms of its profile as well. But I'd like to ink it up and write with it. All right, we're gonna fill it. And these are always super fun to fill too, so yay! Um, unhook, draw up, press down, and dun 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 dun. Boom! Ah, that's fun! All right, I'm gonna go ahead and lock this thing down. 
Okay, so locking it does not expel any ink. That's always nice. I didn't think it would, but yeah, you never know. Okay, extra fine, Paniter, Avatar, Twin, Tank, Touch, Down, Fountain Pen. And it's writing. It's writing well. I can feel it, but it's an extra fine, so that makes sense, because most extra fines, you can feel those in, on the paper a little bit. Smooth flow. It's a little draggy, not like, uh, it's not scratchy at all, but it's not getting away from me. It's not so smooth that I feel it's gonna escape my grasp, so that's good. I don't particularly like that. Um, it's most certainly not scratchy. It's very reliable. I'm not seeing any skipping, no hard starting or anything like that. Uh, let's see if it writes under its own weight. There we go. That's nice. That is what I want to see. Mm. Yep. So that's a well-tuned pen. If it writes under its own weight, it's just, it's just as it should be, you know? It's going to do the job and you're gonna have fun filling it. And it's gonna have a ton of ink capacity. I, I have it probably three quarters filled. Now you could totally fill it more if you wanted to, especially if you had a Paniter pen filler, you could invert that, get that thing 100% filled, and it is going to last forever with a fill like that. So for a narrow pen like that, that isn't big and clunky uh, or heavy, it has a massive ink capacity. And um, yeah, if you're going for a long writing sessions, this is a great option. All right, that is the Paniter Avatar UR Twin Tank Touchdown Fountain Pen. I had fun, I hope you did too, or at least you might've learned something. If you want to learn more though, we have all this information and more dimensions, weights, all that stuff, capacity on our website right there. You can go check it out and learn more and check out all the different colors and the great photography. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Have fun and write on.